Make sure you stand till the end guys, we'll share common mistakes people make that can cost you thousands of dollars in damages. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford Escape that generation here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you guys have one of those, if you need to find where the central locking fuse is located, you may have up to five different fuses. We will explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste your money and time and why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have that generation for the escape from year 2013 to 2019, this specifically is pre-facelifted version, this is the facelifted version. There will be some minor differences, we'll talk about that, but we'll make a video about every single possible fuse, relay, why we do that. Let's say guys, you're down the road in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where the fuse for fuel pump or engine starter is located, or relay for radiator fan, you can just search that on our channel, watch the video for less than one or two minutes find out where it is replace it in your back on the road we do that to save you money guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can and we guys have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels as well that can save you more than thousands of dollars in future repairs if you guys need to buy any parts tools fuses relays at a good price quick shipping that way you do not wait your money and time we will share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so now the, the central locking fuses where you can expect to find them we'll demonstrate on that generation here this is the pre-phase lifted version this is the phase lifted version now check all of the fuses that we mentioned because some of the years and models may differ but uh, one of those fuses okay for sure will be for central locking you will have multiple fuses for the whole system for the driver door lock unlock so that's why there is up to five fuses you need to open the passenger door guys and once you do that look under the dash okay look under the glove box upside down under the dash you will find one carpet liner that attaches with two black turning knobs remove them Underneath you will find the interior fuse box layout that looks like this one. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burned or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so here what we need to check for central locking guys okay we need to check multiple fuses next to each fuse you have a number that indicates the fuse number in the top right corner of every fuse that makes it really guys convenient to find the one that you need the first fuse that you need to check is fuse number 66 we're talking about a 20 amp fuse here next you will need to check fuse number 70 okay it's a 20 amp fuse here as well after that you need to check fuse number 79 15 amp fuse here and uh, next you need to check fuse number 83 which is here and you need to check fuse number 84 as well hopefully the video will be helpful if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching see you guys next time